In this video, I'll describe the motions of the fingers, thumb, and wrist. Finger movements. The fingers move in two main ways, flexion and extension. We flex our fingers to grab and hold on to objects and extend our fingers to reach out for things. Finger flexion. The flexor muscles on the palm side of the forearm form into flexor tendons, which run into the palm and attach to each finger. When the muscle fires, the attached tendon pulls its finger into a curled, flexed position into the palm. Usually, each finger joint can be controlled individually. You can bend the distal joint and the proximal joint separately. When all the finger flexor muscles and tendons pull together, you make a tight fist. The flexor tendons that move the small, ring, and middle fingers usually have a single common muscle where they start from. You can see this if you try to bend these fingers individually without moving the other fingers. Try it on your own hand without touching your other fingers. The adjacent fingers move with the finger you're trying to flex because they're connected higher up in the forearm by muscle. Finger extension. Extensor tendons attach on the top or backside of the fingers. As the extensor muscles fire, their tendons pull on the finger bones to straighten them out. Some finger joints extend past zero degrees. This is called hyperextension. Some degree of hyperextension can be normal, but it's also a term that describes an injury when the finger is bent back and dislocates or fractures. Thumb movements. The thumb is responsible for half the function of our hands. It moves in unique ways compared with the fingers. The thumb has two joints at the end and middle which flex and extend, just like the fingers. The next joint down, however, is highly specialized and allows several unique movements not possible in the fingers. Circumduction. Circumduction is the technical term for moving around in a circle. This motion occurs at the carpometacarpal joint of the thumb, at the thumb base. This joint is commonly affected by arthritis. Abduction and adduction are used to describe the thumb's motion out of and into the palm, respectively. Abduction helps you get your hand around large objects, like a jar of peanut butter or a two-liter bottle. Retropulsion. Retropulsion is the technical term for lifting the thumb off a table while keeping the hand flat. This motion is created by the extensor pollicis longus tendon. Wrist movements. The wrist joint flexes and extends, but also radially and ulnarly deviates, or moves from side to side. Radially just means toward the thumb side. Ulnarly means toward the pinky side. Forearm movements. The distal end of the forearm where the radius and ulna bones meet, at the hand, is held together by strong ligaments. The main two motions in this location are pronation, turning the hand palm down, like when you type, and supination, turning the hand palm up, 